Patrick's Watch. This is Happy. Now today I'm going to be talking about one of Westmoreland's most wanted 87s who recently lose him life. Now I'm going to talk about a part of the picture because you know there's a picture from the scene and it kind of pricky boy-ish. I'm going to tell you why I said that. Then I'm also going to tell you, right, in my opinion, or the direction of me would have cared because you know I said uh, a couple of videos ago that based on things of me and so far with the new law of them, Right, the 15 years now that I said it's a step in the right direction, but certain things right, I would focus on more than others. I go break that down fully today. I go tell you exactly what I talk about. We could talk about Andre Hines, aka Bunny. Now, film 87 them, film crew them. They were a style where they love this up in a camo like them things, so they're a soldier. Right. Um, Andre Hines actually died with a desert camo backpack on him back. Right. But, this youth, it's a really ugly send off. There's a picture from the scene. I posted it on Patreon. I made a separate video feed. It's very grimy. I may paint it through now. Imagine an 87 stand up. I will arrive for that man. And you know the average stance a man take when I will arrive for my man. With weapon up by him chest. That's normally where say police or a soldier stand up at a checkpoint. That's how the average person will arrive for. Same way him drop. I mean this youth is on the ground and him on in the same position. Right hand, right. Index finger bent, aka trigger finger, bent because as he was clearly resting on the trigger, or at least the trigger guard, the left hand bent same way like set a whole lamp on the rifle. Mouth wide open and the whole line ate up the calf. I don't know who get him, I don't know if it's a police or a soldier, but it was a direct Headshot. When I said the top of the youth head lick off, I mean it lick off completely. See him him drop. See him set up the rifle and see him him drop. Him and him devin drop side of him. Right. It look like all, it look like Riga Marty is kicking him instantly. In the video I did on Patreon I mentioned that Preke Boy did go to see me. Remember Preke Boy, trigger finger, did curl up see me. As he was resting on, him trigger was resting on the trigger. See me this youth drop out. Mouth wide open. Very ugly send off. Now, this youth, Andre Hines, major violence producer, right? wanted for all kind of murders. Um, the, the last one, the name called was a double murder. Right? I think it happened about September last year, end of September. This youth and him cronies them, then they live like them untouchable, but you know, because they have the, the bush and the, you know, West Mall and the master in part, and they can't hide out, do what they do, then lay low, well, he knock run out. Look run out and kerosene, probably a tired belly right now. But you know it got with kerosene. While I'm tired them belly and a ball, they can go through them phone and look for the next 87. That's a kerosene thing right now. She has said, yes, the bunny dead. Why, Lord of mercy, why? But while she a ball, she has to go through her phone. Right, let me see now, who we can go to next? Sci-Fi, JJ, Nakis. Let um, see, Dark Paw. Oh, bigger crime, in the same light, man. We can link him now, while she a ball. And just like on Patreon I mentioned, after the ball is done, and after she go, after she link bigger crime and she go on to JJ Nakun, when she run to 87s, you know who turn up, right? Carlton. Carlton turn up and said, your past is your past. Right? I don't care if your previous six man them was the gunman. I'll save you. See a roof over here there. You want JJ Nakun speak to them. Anyway. I want him to play his attention to the stats. As they hear certain violence producers drop out, as they hear rifles I get fined, especially in such big numbers, it should reflect in the murder charts. Now, it seems to me like the security forces them have a little tailwind. Right? It seems like the momentum is building. More than for no say, people have noticed it, but nobody has slowed down now. You kind of see now the tide that turn a little bit. Remember, when I was to 500 murders in that one year, just so, but we start to see the tide that turn a little bit. And what that do, it motivate the people them who are put in the work. When the serious policemen and the serious JDF them, right, start to see results, it motivate them. This is human nature. You know? When you are not, you are not, you are not past, they, they feel like you are not past the, the, the level where they feel like you are stuck here. So, 
it gets demotivating. So, when you see things start kick off like this, and then it start get better and better, you have to understand, say, right, where the general mood of the security forces them up uplift, and then feel like, say, yeah, we actually are get somewhere, then more results come naturally. This is human nature. Just like if you are, if you are look at woman, and you, you tell her, say, you want to see her, man. And every day she tell her, say, she not see you, she not see you. Right? And yes, all right, well, she not want me. And the next thing you know, one day she say, come link me next week, and all of a sudden, man, your interest spike again, you get motivated, you're going to barber. You never want to cut in a year, but all of a sudden, through the girl, finally tell her, yes, no, you're going to barber. Right? You start to push up, you start to sit up, right? You start polish off your little one shoes where you have, right? Because now, you're motivated again. You start to see progress. This is human nature. Let me talk about the last thing. The reason I'm saying more scrutinize is because the whole 15 years thing that have to be a case where a 15 years minimum regardless if you plead guilty or not. Because if there's a clause in the way say where they plead guilty and then that cut down to this and cut down to that, then I'm not sure how much of a deterrent that is because if 87 is no so well, it's 15 years are plead guilty, man I got to plead guilty. So what is the plead guilty? There should be a minimum the whole world can go. So even if you plead guilty, you can't go no lower than this. Me that put that in there. Right? Now full disclosure, I'm no legal expert. I'm just a little YouTuber. I'm just telling you what me to do. Me that have, even if you plead guilty, there is a certain minimum, you can't go no lower than that. Because that right there so is the deterrent. If man knows so well, all me have to do a plead guilty and 15 turn in a 5, then I'm not so sure that's no big deterrent from what we have now. That's just my little YouTuber's opinion. Next thing. We still need to hear right, the part that we deal with the traffickers. This is what I'm going to do if I'm going to write them loud. Let's say me give 87s 15 minimum for illegal possession of firearm. 15 minimum. Right. You, can, you can plead all you want, that's the minimum to go. You can only go higher. Let's say we give that to the youth then catch with the gun. Do you know who I would set? Right, the minimum to 30. I'll show you how far I go. 30 years minimum. Do you know who I would set that for? The traffickers. Yes. I, like a YouTuber, right, would give the traffickers double the time, the minimum time of the 87. I tell you what. It is the traffickers that make it so easy to replace 87s who go to jail and gonna get took over for the streets. If it's a case where man go to jail and gonna get fined, but traffickers just easily replace it with one another hundred, then we're playing a game of cat and mouse. No we depend on one of the we didn't call it. We see rat them running pan. A rat or hamster. You know amst hamster wheel. You ever see a hamster wheel? You know Sarona is a grown and a grown and a grown. And a grown and a grown and a grown. Now I'm gonna That's what would happen. So we need a deterrent, not just for the 87, but the gun nine man. For the people them who are gonna help it, facilitate, right, getting that gun to the 87. Me I talk about the people them who that your favorite airports. I talk about people who work at your favorite wharf. Who I, I take a little money and I grease, get them palm grease and I eat that food and I make certain things slide. Do I don't search that barrel, make that barrel go through. I talk about your favorite, even your favorite fisherman them who go here to go bring back certain things. 30 years minimum. Them need a deterrent to make them say, you know what? It's not worth it because right now, as it stands, the consequences are not that severe. Even if them get catch, them not get fling away. When them people they start to consider say, you know what, me not see no more road again. If me get catch, I better say, no for them part them boat and no one away. I better say no for them, you know much man get catch, right? Doing herbs to gun straight. Get lock up for one, two years and come back a road. If them man they know say 30 years minimum, we not gonna see much of them guy hate it. We never see much of them, how much of your favorite people in our customs or war or whatever, or make certain things come true. We never see much of them, man. All of a sudden get woke. What is the purpose of a deterrent? 
You see, a deterrent make you think long and hard before you do it. At the moment, the deterrent is basically non-existent. I just like with Pitney, you know. Pitney follow a certain rule because they don't want whatever the consequences that could be. Pitney say, well, it's fun if I step on the road and do this till 9 o'clock at night, but that is said must reach home by 4 o'clock or else, you know, what the Pitney might love play football on a Sunday. So you say you don't play no more football. The Pitney don't want to lose the ability to play football, so then come home by 4 o'clock. The law works in a similar way. People want to get them part, them palm grease and allow be illegal going to come to the country. But when a man think about 30 years, that them say me get catch, me got the 30 years minimum, no matter what, all of a sudden, the grease palm thing, him start to think long and hard. Because suddenly, it's not worth it. Right now, man, I think, well, even if me get catch, man, right, me go on a couple of years and come back around because remember, now for them get charge under some local because truly there's no direct and specific law they want to get charged under one next act and you know really so they might get fling away when man a wharf when man fisherman and the man they know say 30 years minimum when you link them and say yo go for this man and tell you say yo you better go for that yourself 30 years so i would put the a, an even greater sentence from the facilitators right i would put and even greater sentence for the people them who they on even the other side of the waters who are sent back things come to Jamaica. I talk about the people them who further up the chain. I talk about the 90s, the 160s. I talk about your favorite you know, legal official who's supposed to be stopping them from coming to the country. And I take money and I make them come to the country. I would give them a greater time than even the 87. Because the 87 is the easiest thing for replace. We know the conveyor belt in Jamaica well greased. Well greased. So there's no shortage at 87. But what is more difficult is the man who can get into the country and bypass this and bypass that. When you start shake up them, when you start make them think long and hard, right, that's when time you go see some real results. I would give them more time. I would double the time. That's how serious I take it. I would say 30 years minimum. Since now I get 87 15, they get catch with the gun, I get the man will bring it in 30 minimum. And that's not a good day. Work the scam ball all them one, human rights activists scam ball all them one, go on in the jailhouse, go hug them up and write it again. And I send them flowers and candy and pictures of your niggle eye and make them feel good for 30 years minimum. These people have been overlooked for too long. The people them who work at the wharfs and the thing they, who actually make them things that come to the country by the dozens and the hundreds because that way they just have replaced them. We don't want to be stuck on a hamster wheel. We don't want to be saying, all right, 15 years, but then the network will allow it for coming to the country is still intact. That's what I would do. But that, they come to say the greener sound. Remember, I'm just a little YouTuber. At the end of the day, it's all about views and views is life. Right. So take on myself a grain of salt. But that's what I would do. Right. We have to start looking at the facilitators. These this is Jamaican people selling guns to Jamaicans. Are Jamaican people leaving Jamaica for bring back guns to Jamaica? No for them fishermen, no for them customs people, no for them quote unquote business people there. They might worry about blood panel, man. Them not shoot at the place themselves. Right. Them not screw up the rounds by themselves. But them play a major role. So since in the 15, 87, me that get 30 to the facilitators. Then. But don't worry, I'm going to break down the law anyway. The, the, the new law, the mental income. I'm just going to put this out there. Because we don't want to lose sight of the fact that these weapons can be easily replaced if we don't dismantle. Right, the network. Remember, the man them left, you have man of foreign who either send things to Jamaica and your favorite, you know, um, official allowed to come through or whatever. Right. Then it drop into the hands of somebody like the man who them take out uh, Trilani with you. Right. 
then them now remember the original people them really the original people them pay the lowest price now you know who pay the next you know you know when the money jump up we need to sell on to the gang it's just like herbs you gone straight now man care herbs to get some rifle when him get the rifle them him now sell the rifle them at five times ten x the price because him now can sell it based on the market or the market stay all right police hold on and hold it gun with you so guess what gun scares more than 500,000 for this next time you might say 200,000 don't think so because the original man get it for just some herbs you might go say well since me just get it for some herbs I might go just you know, sell it for 10,000 that's ridiculous first thing herbs have value and enough of the man them who are selling off the herbs enough of them want the equivalent for the herbs back in them weapon if you understand what I say so don't make the fuck say the original man them just get it come through customs and, and then pay for example one 500 us free weapon in america and then get it in a jamaica after then grease two palms you sell on back and they said the big money mate because remember so the people them in the network have to get pay you have to pay the fisherman you have to pay the corrupt have to turn a blind eye you have to turn you have to pay that money pay that money so as soon as them raise the price can we up so if I say 500,000 and I saw everybody quote unquote eat a fool. It's not like a legal product where you just buy it for $10 then add on one fifteen 15% markup. Right? And you say well that's fair and that's how it work. It's not a work. In an illegal thing, in a black marketing, not no fear. You charge anything you want to charge because people who want it are going to pay for it. Right? So people, what people try to do is look on the price that they're going to have for it and say well that gun cost 500 US dollars so how it will cost 500,000 Jamaican. Take your head out of the sun and start being an overgrown child. This is black market right now, boy. The fuck say it costs 400 US dollars in America. If you get it through off and get it into the hands of your descendants, require a whole heap of bribing, a whole heap of this and a whole heap of that. And everybody want their money. Everybody want their profit. It's the black market right now, boy. Anyway, it's a squad. Be open to sell. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. More life. Go to squad. Stay certain. Bless.